Hello. Uh, today I would like to uh, talk about uh, the default uh, script and uh, why, uh, what is a document loop. So this is my start process. Uh, just have some text that was uh, generated with uh, GPT here. And, uh, uh, splitting it by line to generate uh, different documents. Then uh, I'm sending this to another data process shape. I didn't configure it as the default. So let's just run it and see what it does. Uh, save. Okay. You should be seeing all the lines from the message shape uh, getting split into individual lines. So we have 16 of them here. And the same come through to the next shape. So this is about scripting. So I'm going to modify this second data process shape. Instead of search replace, I'll run a script. So, create a script. Now, the default script contains this loop here. What does it do? Uh, basically, it does nothing. So, I'll save this and run my process. You will see that the same document that enter the script come out of the script. We have 16 documents here, 16 documents here, and they have the same contents. Okay, uh, but maybe you will say that that's not really doing nothing since there is code in there. So what if I just remove it? Uh, just make it in JavaScript. I'll put the comments again. Right, so we have a document that enters with script, uh, but it doesn't provide to the next shape. So if we do nothing, it actually stops there. That's why we do need to have that, that loop that is here for all the documents. Now, uh, does do we always need to have the same loop? So what I'm going to show you, I'm going to skip. Instead of outputting all the documents that come inside, I will do one out of four. Let's see what that does. So now we have uh, 16 documents that come in. Yeah. We have only four that come out of the data process shape. So the script has kept only four documents. First one. That's actually the fifth line. Oh, this one is the first one. Oh. 
तो That's interesting. That loop is just to produce documents that flow after the script shape. It doesn't have to be related to the input. I can show you that now. Get my own data. These two lines. We'll go back to first first here. Uh, so I'm not taking the, the data working to bytes. Me. I'm not adding any properties here. I'm just creating empty properties, but you could. Yeah, I didn't mean to create uh, as many documents as that. I just create five. Let's try again. Right, so we have that input data, which is the, all the 16 lines of the GPT program. And as output, we have only five documents, which are completely unrelated to the input. So it's up to you to do what you want inside that loop. And that will come out as a separate documents every time you do uh, Uh, store stream. Right, that's it for this time. Okay, so to recap, um, the default script uh, sends all the input documents to the output, uh, but you don't have to do the same. You can uh, skip some documents, uh, transform them, or even simply ignore the input and uh, output your own uh, documents. Right. Thank you for listening and see you next time.